How you doing? My name is Blake Smolin. I'm the principal here at the Allendale Early Childhood Center, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in for our kindergarten registration video. During this video today, you will learn a little bit about the programs we offer here at the Allendale Early Childhood Center. You'll meet some of our teachers, and you'll see a little bit of our beautiful building. So sit back and enjoy. When we are talking about our kindergarten registration requirements, there are a few things that you will need to get your child registered. You will need an immunization record, you will need a health appraisal form, a vision and hearing record, their original birth certificate, your proof of residency, and if you are a non-resident of Allendale, you will have to complete a non-resident paperwork. So, how do you know if your child is ready for kindergarten? Well, Michigan, California, Texas, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Ohio all have a September 1st enrollment date. Research indicates that not all five-year-olds will be ready to start school at the same time. There are many different levels of physical and emotional maturity in our children, and they vary by each and individual child. Children have varying degrees of preschool or young fives experience, so they might be more prepared for kindergarten than others. As we always like to say, we remember that school, our school experiences are not a race, but a journey. At the Allendale Early Childhood Center, we offer three different options for your child. There is preschool, which children must be three or four by September 1st. We have a fee-based preschool, which is two days a week, three days a week, or four days per week, depending on your choice. We offer morning sessions. We also offer, offer a GSRP, which is a Great Start Regional Program, which is an income-based Monday through Thursday, all-day preschool with transportation provided. Preschool students typically then attend Young Fives or Kindergarten the following year based on their birthday and screening results. We also offer a Young Fives program here at the AECC, and that is available for our youngest learners, typically with birthdays on or after May 1st. You must go through our Allendale Public Schools readiness screening process, and recommend recommendations are based on screening scores, parent input, and preschool or young fives teacher input as well. All young fives students will attend kindergarten the following year, and it also is a full day schedule and follows the same schedule as the kindergarten through fifth grade. Our last option that we offer here is our kindergarten program. Our kindergarten program is all day, every day, the same schedule as Young Fives through fifth grade, but it is a little bit more ramped up compared to our Young Fives program. So, when you are deciding whether your child might attend preschool, Young Fives, or kindergarten, we do require a kindergarten readiness screen for children that have birthdays between May 1st and December 1st. We will be getting all of our registration forms online on February 23rd, and we will be asking to have those returned to us by March 3rd through 15th. Once you do get your registration in, there will be an email link that will be forwarded to you, and in that link, you will be able to sign up for a readiness screening date and time. The screening results and recommendations will be sent out by the end of the year, and parent program decisions will be required shortly after receiving the recommendation letters. Our screening focus areas include approaches to learning, which could be your child's persistence, initiative, cooperation, following directions, and self-confidence, socio-emotional development, their healthy relationships, management of emotions, ability to handle new tasks, and attention to learning. Also, their physical health and development, which consists of independence and self-care tasks, eye-hand coordination, gross motor control, fine motor control, and overall physical health. We also look at their language development, which could include their ability to engage in conversations, age level appropriate vocabulary, self-expression and listening skills, also their early literacy skills, which would include interest in stories and illustrations, rhyming, awareness of letters and their sounds, and finally some early mathematics skills, which could include interest in numbers, ability to count at a basic level, and number and pattern sense. Hi, my name is Kelly Skolton and I am one of our nine kindergarten teachers. We are very lucky that all of our Allendale Kindergarten classes are all in the same hallway here at the ECC. 
So it was me speaking in the video, but standing with me is all of the other kindergarten teachers. Our hope is that you will learn about our programs here so you can make the best choice possible for your child. Kindergarten is for children who are five by September 1. Children who are younger than this should strongly consider our young fives or preschool options. These are the recommendations from our state government and supported by lots of advice from families. Do you know someone who has had a child in our Young Fives program? I strongly encourage you to reach out to them and ask them about their experiences. Over the years, kindergarten has grown to be five full days of school each week. During the days, we cover all the traditional core subjects. The demands of the curriculum are tough. It is not like the kindergarten that you and I remember when we were growing up. Students will come out of kindergarten with a solid math foundation and be able to write and read. It is no small feat. It's because of these high academic standards that it is really important for your child to be mature in their development before kindergarten. Things to think about are your child's approach to learning. Can your child maintain their attention to a learning task? Not really screen, but a real task. Are they interested in school? For example, can they sit and listen to a story? Are they interested in playing games or playing with toys for a sustained amount of time? Can they leave a task and move on to the next one? Can they share an activity with a peer? Or consider your child's social and emotional development. How is your child with managing their own emotions? We know that no child is perfect and everyone has a rough spot here and there. So think about the frequency with things like do they cry easily, throw tantrums, panic. Kindergarten will not only be a day away from home, but it will also be a time when they are going to have to follow the group and do things that the teacher needs them to do. A young five or preschool placement would be better for a child who needs time to mature socially and emotionally. Also consider your child's physical and health development. Can your child use the bathroom independently? Can they dress themselves? Can they use a tissue independently? Children need to be able to do these tasks all by themselves. Also consider your child's language development. Can your child ask for help if they need it? For example, saying, can I have a turn with that toy? Does your child tell stories? Are they starting to develop complex language or do they still do baby talk? There are so many things that are not academic that are foundational to kindergarten. It is completely normal for some of these skills to be underdeveloped, but it would be helpful to the child to be placed in young fives or preschool to give your child a chance to grow. So now we think about academics. The beginning of kindergarten is a review of letters and letter sounds. We expect all children to know their letters and sounds by October of kindergarten. This happens easily for children coming to us from young fives or preschool programs. From knowing their letters and sounds in October, we continue on into reading and writing. Children will also have a solid understanding of math with numbers through 20, being able to compare, build, and find groups within those numbers. We also have science and social studies curriculums. It is a lot of academics, but for a child who is ready, kindergarten can be so exciting and a great way to start their academic career. So to review, we recommend that your child has some school experience before kindergarten. We have wonderful preschool programs, both fee-based and income-based, as well as our Rich Young Fives program. We want you to make the best placement for your child. Your child will most likely feel happy and love school if we pick the correct learning environment for them. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you. Hello, my name is Megan Couturier. I teach Young Fives in Allendale. I have previously taught Preschool and kindergarten in my 11 years of Allendale, um, I was fortunate enough to move down to Young Fives two years ago. Um, our program is a five-day program. It is made up of students who have previously had preschool, or sometimes this is their first experience. Um, our program 
is really the gift of time. We're allowing children to learn at their pace. We do a lot of play-based experiences. Um, we let the kids learn through their playtime, through experiences, through hands-on activities. Um, we really focus on social-emotional skills with the students and just getting them ready and teaching them learner behaviors to set them up for success in kindergarten. We run the same curriculum as kindergarten in terms of handwriting without tears and math expressions and zoophonics just at a slower pace without the expectation of mastery. We're able to give the kids that gift of time that one more year to grow, to learn, to mature, to gain the confidence to go into kindergarten to be the leaders in the classrooms. Our program is ideally for students with birthdays after April 1st. Um, I would encourage you, if you're thinking about it, talk to other parents you may know that have done the Young Fives program. I know in my 11 years of teaching, I've never had a parent that said that they've regretted giving their child that one extra year, slow things down, learning at their pace, and that gift of time that really sets them up to be confident learners in kindergarten. Hi, my name is Dawn Kukuk. I am one of the preschool teachers here at the ECC. I currently teach Monday through Thursday mornings and I teach a fours classroom. We also have three-year-old classrooms here available. They function in the mornings and the afternoons and there's more fours classrooms as well. So we do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and a Tuesday, Thursday section for threes. We do a Monday through Thursday, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and a Tuesday, Thursday section for fours. And then we also host a GSRP classroom here, actually two of them. And those are for four-year-old children and they go the full school day and they include busing and lunches and things like that as well. So um, at the ECC, we pride ourselves on having the kids' first experience. So our youngest learners are in our preschool wing at the ECC. We play, we learn through play, and of course we always focus on all of the academic stuff like you can see here on my focus board as well. So a lot of our preschool sections are half days except for the GSRP program. So if you're interested, stop by, give us a call. We'd love to see you here in the fall. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you so much for tuning in today to our kindergarten registration informational video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to check our website or also give us a call here at school. Our number is 616-892-5580. Have a great rest of your day.